focus on the toll current U.S. immigration policy has taken on that most basic of social units, the human body, over the last 30 years or so. The idea that this seminar developed out of began uh, at the Ameren Foundation, which is co-sponsoring the seminar with the Southwest Center. The Ameren Foundation is this incredible uh, archaeological research uh, station and museum in Dragoon, Arizona, about an hour east of Tucson. Uh, I came up with this idea to invite other scholars to the Ameren to hold a four-day research seminar on this particular topic. Two of the graduate students I was supervising at the time uh, were working on their dissertations in anthropology. The first was Dr. Robin Reinecke, who when she first came to the University of Arizona to begin her graduate study in anthropology in the early 2000s, started to volunteer for the Pima County Medical Examiner's Office because that office was being overwhelmed with the human remains that were being discovered of, of migrants who had tried to cross the U.S.-Mexico border and had paid the ultimate price and had died terrible deaths of either exposure in the winter or heat exhaustion and dehydration in the warmer months. And so what the Pima County Medical Examiner's Office asked her to do is serve as a liaison between the families of dead migrants who had been identified, but also to families who had lost touch with a son or a daughter or an, a cousin or a brother or a sister. But she also became an activist and co-founded the Colibri Center for Human Rights, which tried to bring attention to this phenomenon. So Robin was looking at the people who didn't make it and the kind of impact that that had on the families of dead or missing migrants. At the same time, another of my grad students, Dr. Rebecca Crocker, was during, doing her dissertation on undocumented migrants who had survived this very, very traumatic journey and were trying to survive at a time when, you know, without documents, at a time when, you know, xenophobia was intensifying when legislation like SB 1070 was focusing more and more scrutiny on uh, Mexican and Latino people, whether they were U.S. citizens or recent migrants. And she was looking at the toll this took on these undocumented migrants' bodies physical toll, diabetes, the so-called psychological toll, which is, of course, is rooted in stress, depression, anxiety. That's what she was looking at. So she was looking at the people who made it, but who paid a terrible price for arriving at a destination and then having to live in fear that a traffic stop would end up getting them or a loved one deported. And so I consulted with them. We brought other people, including Dr. Linda Green, my colleague in the School of Anthropology, 
into the research seminar and eventually had this group of both US and Mexican and even a Canadian scholar uh, come together at Amarant and talk about this topic for four days, give a public presentation at the end to an audience at the, at the Amarant, and then go back, and they had to come with a chapter written, which then became the book, The Border and Its Bodies, uh, which was published by the University of Arizona Press in its Amarin Foundation series in the fall of 1919. So this upcoming seminar is an opportunity to explore those topics and then kind of bring them up to date. Because when we first met, you know, it really was just at the beginning of the Trump administration. And since then, the xenophobia and the scrutiny and the criminalization of undocumented migration have just intensified and conditions along the border have just gotten worse and worse and worse. I am going to introduce the speakers, moderate the panel, but we'll have Dr. Reinecke, Dr. Crocker, and Dr. Green talk about their research. And then we've asked the head of a local nonprofit, Vicki Galbecka, who is the director of the Southern Border Communities Coalition, talk about what it's like on the ground, what it's like dealing with this on a day-to-day -day basis. How do you try and help these people in a very, very hostile political environment? Uh, and Dr. Green originally conducted her research among women in, in Guatemala, uh, widows who had lost their husbands during the Guatemalan Civil War, which unfortunately, disgracefully, the U.S. had a lot to do with by supporting Rios Montt and others in the 1980s. And Guatemala finally got too dangerous for her that she, you know, stopped doing research in Guatemala and shifted to doing research with Native peoples in Alaska. But she still would be called in to serve as an expert witness when Guatemalan refugees began to cross the border and began to be arrested and detained by the U.S. Border Patrol and U.S. Customs. So she'll be talking about that aspect. When I first came up with this idea and decided that we would focus on the human body, I thought that might be a way to kind of humanize the debate over border policies. You know, unfortunately, it didn't much matter. You know, we're still as far away from immigration reform as we were then, maybe even further. But that was my initial impulse. You know, if we can show people what kind of a toll it takes on these people, obviously the ones who die, but also on the ones who survive. Maybe there would be a little more sympathy for the plight of these people. And I still hope that that happens. <laughs>